What is good everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're gonna be talking about my honest thoughts on MW2. I know you guys probably see me tweet, uh, it was the best video game of all time or it will be the best video game of all time, but I'm here to actually break it down for you and tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. So let's get right into it. First thing is the time to kill. The time to kill I feel is a little too fast. I mean, in Call of Duty, it's usually always pretty fast except for a couple games like Black Ops 4, where you had like 150 health and stim. Uh, Cold War. I think Cold War was like the perfect time to kill. But yeah, the one in this game is very fast. I don't know if it's faster than Vanguard, but it's close. Maybe even a little bit faster because I swear sometimes I just someone's pre a corner and they're shooting my teammate i walk around the corner and just die instantly in two bullets before i can even react so i wish they could make it so it's like one more bullet it takes a kill instead of being like two to four it could be like three to five or four to five um i think that'd be the sweet spot for call of duty but call of duty usually is a very quick time to kill game um but i'm not too big of a fan of that that's one of my things i kind of don't like um, next up, we have the slide cancel. The slide cancel got changed. The whole, all the movement got changed, which personally, I don't hate. As Call of Duty players, as competitive players, casual players, as uh, whoever plays this game, all of us that play this game, we've adapted to different movement in different games, different maps every single year since Call of Duty's inception. So personally, I feel like for me, I'm just gonna adapt to it. And I feel like most people are as well. It kind of does remind me of like old school movement and i don't hate it it's gonna take some time to get used to yes but i'm not like oh we, we need the slide cancel what my take on it is that in multiplayer i don't think we need a slide cancel that you have to do all the time all the time all the time because it's probably gonna make the casuals not really enjoy the game because they have to get so cracked and they're probably on a 60 inch tv on a couch uh regular controller trying to get super cracked and do all that but i do think it needs to be in warzone the warzone map is huge I feel like you can't just run around and burger sprint all the way through the map because Warzone could be a running simulator sometimes. So I feel like the slide cancel needs to somehow be in Warzone. Multiplayer, I really don't think it needs to happen. Uh, I think the jump shot's gonna be really good. I think the drop shot's gonna be really good or even just pre-aiming a corner in this game because you die so quick that holding an iron or holding a pre-aim will get you a lot of kills. So that's my takes on the movement. Now we also have some more movement, the snake. The snake is uh, pretty much when you're behind a head glitch, you lay down, you sprint up out of it, lay down, sprint up out of it. And it's been in every Call of Duty. Um, some CODs better than others. This COD is very good again. Uh, you'll see a lot of people doing it. Uh, it's just pretty much to where you, when you're doing it, you could see them and they really can't see you when you're snaking and you're getting information. You're able to get the damage down for free and it's very overpowered and they've tried to fix it in multiple Call of Duty games, but I don't think you'll ever actually be able to fix snaking as long as you could sprint out of a lay down. Uh, or a prone or a crouch so snaking is very good in this game i'm sure i will be uploading some movement tips and tricks videos throughout the year to teach you guys how to perfect all these movements we're going to be talking about and now the big one the no red dots on the mini maps this is one where i actually want to hear your guys' take in the comments so please leave it it's probably going to be different for a competitive or maybe a casual player but in casual pubs there's not going to be red dots when people shoot so unless you have a uav up if you have a uav up and people shoot you will see them but if they just shoot there's no punishment for shooting and maybe missing a shot or something um and they said they wanted to do it to protect the like the player's experience pretty much the new player's experience where if they shoot and so the whole other team just runs at them and red dot chases that's pretty much what they said and i could see it from a business standpoint of yes they want people to have fun they don't want to you know make the, they don't want them to die all the time and just get spawn trapped every time they're missing shots so i could see that but it's also the other thing where it's like it's been in call of duty for so long when you shoot and you miss and you don't have a silencer you pop up on the mini map and people have fell in love with this game for years and years and years. Even then there's been games that weren't the best, people still come back the following year to give it the new game a shot. So this is, uh, I mean, I would personally prefer to have the red dots on the mini map, but I can see what they're doing from a business standpoint in a way. Um, in private match, what we'll be playing for competitive, you're gonna be able to see the red dots on the mini map. I'm pretty sure there's like settings and stuff in the private match. So really, we really don't have to worry about that. But that's just my take on the whole thing. I would prefer it, but I understand why they don't do it. But hopefully the casual players do love this game. So it's successful on YouTube, Twitch, all that good stuff. And now the footsteps in dead silence. This is gonna be a fun one. The footsteps, they uh, are very loud. It sounds like you're an elephant running around the map, which personally, I think should be tuned a little bit. And here's my fix for the footsteps. I don't think you should be completely silent. I think the bass sound should be a little bit lower, but if someone does get close to you, you will hear them. Cause if you have like dead sounds on all the time or Ninja, you're going to be completely silent. I don't think you should always be completely silent. Cause then you can't really use the audio cues like this, but they want 
to you to be very loud. They literally said in the article, they do not want you to be able to run down the middle of the map right when the game starts and get kills. Like they want it. They want people to hear you and be ready for you, which, okay, that makes sense. But I don't think it should be extremely loud because you literally hear people all over the map from very far away. And uh, I don't know, it's I, I'm not a big fan of that. And then when it comes to private match competitive and stuff um, with the having dead sounds as a field upgrade, we literally aren't going to be able to make plays because everyone's, of course, blasting their headset, hearing everything. So you're going to have to sit in the corner and wait with your team. All right, guys, I'm about to get dead silence. I'm going to make a play. So everyone's going to be waiting for the first minute and a half, two minutes of like the round and just chilling, doing nothing. So I don't know. SND might get a little weird in this game. We'll see how it plays out. But of course, I think they should mess with the footsteps a little bit. But I don't really think they will. I do not really think they will. And then let's name a couple things I like about the game. OK, well, let's be let's bring some positivity here. Um, I do like the weapons. The weapons are really fun to use. I fell in love with the cost of 74U, which is now an AR. The 74U has always been an SMG in Call of Duty, but now it's an AR. We cannot put any attachments on it. Well, there was a glitch to put a couple, but no really good attachments on it. So it wasn't even really worth it. Um, and it's amazing. I loved that weapon. Um, I like the M4 a lot as well. And then the two SMGs, the MP5, the Latchman, and then also the Hurricane were beaming. And uh, the MP5 has less ammo, does, does a lot of damage. The Hurricane has like 50 rounds or something like that, has very little recoil. And it seems like a really good close to mid range SMG gun. Um, so I like the guns. And then the one thing I liked was the attachment system and how it worked. You're only allowed five attachments on a weapon, which is very nice compared to other games where you could put like 10 on, which made the gun shoot very straight. There was no recoil at all. And uh, you pretty much never got punished because like it was so easy to shoot. Um, so I like that there's only five attachments in this game. It's going to add a lot of variety to what you want to do. Do you want to be faster and use the fast attachments? Do you want to be slower? aim in slower but not have that much recoil you're gonna have to find that proper or that right middle ground and i'm very excited to upload some class setups some weapon setups and all that stuff this season to show you guys what the best stuff to use is and then we got the one thing i'm so very surprised about is actually the visual recoil because you know how they say they want to cater to the casual audience or the noobs in call of duty which is okay it's a business they want to get the they want to support the biggest player base which is uh the people that just play casually for fun i'm surprised they added this much visual recoil i never thought i'd see the day where a call of duty added this much visual recoil and personally i'm a fan of it i like this for as like a competitor as like a having skill but i'm shocked that they did this uh when their whole thing is to take care of the casual audience because like the guns they jump they move around a lot you might be missing a lot of shots and it just kind of like goes against what they're saying of how they wanted to take care of the casual players uh but personally i'm a fan of it more recoil the better i like show i like when people have to show their raw talent their skill to be able to control recoil movement and do all that stuff so i, I like it personally um the maps the maps as well we played farm 18 we've played a uh, hotel we've played the mercado like the marketplace map and i think the maps are actually pretty solid i don't know which sort of those maps we'd use in hardpoint but i could see already two of those maps like hotel and mercado being used in snd and that's a good sign if the maps are pretty decent in the beta i'm not gonna go out there and say they're the best maps we've ever had but they're decent enough i remember playing vanguard and we had gavutu in the beta and i was like there's no way gavutu is going to be a competitive map and what do you know we're playing control we're playing hardpoint on it throughout the whole year um so i do think the maps are pretty good i know there's an f1 map coming out that i played a while ago and it was really fun i'm sure they've done a little more updates with color and everything to it so i'm excited to see that one um and then there's that one museum or galleria map i'm not too crazy about too big too much open space i don't think it'll be competitive um but the maps overall are pretty solid it's a pretty solid base from what we've seen so far and um another thing i like is the marksman rifles i forgot what the gun was called it was like something carbine but that thing can quick scope and it does get a lot of hit markers if you aim like lower than the chest but if you hit the chest or head you get the kill easily and it can aim in and shoot fast like there's gonna be some sick sniping clips hit with this gun and then even the um main sniper i forgot the name was called but we had to use a default sniper in the beta the default sniper was very slow as a sniper should be but it did a lot of damage i don't even think you can get hit markers with it unless you shoot them like the foot or something crazy like that it felt really good so sniping felt really fun in this game and i'm very excited for that because you know me i love sniping and then one of my biggest dislikes i don't really i haven't seen really any other people talking about this but something i've noticed instantly grenades and tacticals 
you'll notice that after I tell you this, when you throw them and they blow up, it leaves a big smoke screen for like two, three seconds. So personally, I don't like that. I think it should like blow up, go away pretty quickly so you can see again. But if it's gonna stay like this, you could use it to your advantage. You could throw a grenade at like a cut or a gate. Uh, you know that gate on Mercado, that black gate where there's like that van, there's a black gate right here. You could literally throw the grenade there. If it blows up, you know you have like two, three seconds to jump across where they're not really gonna be able to see you. So you wanna use the grenades and tacticals to your advantage when it has a smoke screen. But I do think it's pretty cheesy and I don't really like it. It's all good though. Sometimes in life, you're not gonna like things, but you have to take advantage of what they give you. So make the most out of it. Use grenades and tacticals to get across and cross the map and or just cross random areas without being seen. Hopefully that gets changed though. Um, and the last thing is actually this weird thing on the walls. I don't know what it is. It's not like canisters or anything, but sometimes when you shoot random areas of the wall, there is something that blows up. And there's nothing like visually in the game that blows up. It's just, you'll be hugging a wall, your one shot. Someone shoots the, the like floor next to you and then you just blow up and die. And it was just, nothing was on the wall that they shot. So that's pretty annoying. Uh, I hopefully they fix that because it's never fun dying by a random pipe or just something that's on the wall that you don't even visually see. Like if there's a barrel there, okay, I, I can see the barrel. I can see it being shot. I'm going to get away from there. But when you're dying, when they literally just shoot a random wall and it hits like, I don't even know what it hits. So there's nothing there on the screen. So that's something that also is really annoying. But other than that, uh, I do think the beta was pretty solid. I give it like a solid 7 out of 10. I'm actually going to be playing it right now for the PC beta because we were playing on PS5 last weekend. But um, that's just my thoughts on everything. If you guys have any comments or want to discuss whatever, I'm down. I will be in the comments checking it out. Or you can come to my stream, twitch.tv forward slash attach, and I'll be playing the game. You can ask questions there. But I'm really looking forward this year to uploading a lot of videos, to streaming a lot, of course, competing in the Call of Duty League. Um, and just helping you guys become the best Call of Duty players you could be. Because I just love doing that. And uh, hopefully this game stays good for a long time. And I will see you guys in the next video. And as always, my name is Attach. And I'm out. Peace.